Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating a virtual directory using IIS. I'm back over on my new web server. I'm up inside of IIS Management Console, and we're going to create what's called a virtual directory. This time, we're going to right-click on our default website, and we're going to select from the context menu, Add a Virtual Directory. Now, this is something that I can use as a container to share out items on my network. We're going to call this intranet, and I can make as many of these virtual directories as I want. So if a group needs something that they can use so that they can collaborate, I could create them a virtual directory, make sure that they're the only ones that have access to it, and then they would be able to open up a browser and access this virtual directory just by going to our internal website. So let's go ahead and find a folder location for this new virtual directory that we're creating here. So I'm going to click on the Browse button. I'm going to open up my C drive. Up inside the C drive here, I'm just going to go ahead and right click. And from my context menu, I'm going to go to New Folder. And I'm going to call this new folder Intranet. And we're going to say OK. And from here, we can click on the Test button if we so desire. And you'll see that the authentication is working just fine. Now, this authorization, that's always going to come up with that yellow triangle. Nothing to be concerned about. Go ahead and click Close. Go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to return on over to our C drive. And we're going to put some content inside of our new intranet virtual directory. Once again, open up your File Explorer and then open up the C drive and we're going to open up that internet folder that we just created and inside of this white area here we're just going to right click and we're going to select new and we're going to create another new text document Now I'm going to call this new text document intranet now once I have the document created I'm just going to go ahead and open it up inside this new default document I'm just going to go ahead and type welcome to our intranet site I'm going to go ahead and close it out when prompted I will go ahead and save the changes I'm now going to close out my C drive, and I'm back at my IIS Management Console. So once again, we're going to change that default document that we're going to use for the Internet site. So make sure you have it highlighted. Make sure you check it. And then you're going to go over to your default document. And in here, you're going to click on Add. And now you're going to give it the name of that default document that we created up inside of that Internet folder. So we've already got the default path to that internet folder selected for this internet site. So this default document is going to be found inside of that folder if everything is done correctly. Once you've got the correct name typed in, go ahead and just say OK. And you'll notice that that default document is now at the top of the selection. So now if we open up our default website and we go to the default document container, you'll see that we have one default document that is named one thing. And for our internet site, if we go to the default documents, you'll see that we have another default document that is named something completely different. So that gives you the idea that both of these sites are being treated differently, and they are. I'm now back over on my DC1, and we're going to use that same browser, and we're going to test to see if we can bring up that virtual directory by just going up into the address bar and we're going to add in the name of that virtual directory that we created called intranet. So I'm just going to type in intranet. Now if I hit enter, you'll notice that our message does change. So let us know that we are now inside of that virtual directory up on our new IIS server. So that's going to conclude the short video presentation on how we go about creating a virtual directory up inside of our IIS website. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the material that was covered in this short video presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.